want us to go in. The rubber black people. Yeah. Go to JD and actually spend like fifty pounds on a decent little shoe to go. Right. People could be like, oh, but you're wearing these type of Nike. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a hundred and something I spent. Yeah. You need to understand spending four bills on a shoe. But that that's why that's why they give us rappers as the idols. They don't give us no no MPs. The rap monkey. Rap monkeys are rapper coons. He's. What's going on, people? It's your boy B Yax, and welcome to another episode of Fly on the Wall. We got a mandem here, Pattern Up TV. Mandem, you get me? So today, yeah, we're gonna talk about the Black King and Black Queen narrative. So, in within the Black community, so. What is the criteria to be a black king and black queen in contemporary society? Mm. So why I raise this question is because we see the video of the woman, the black lady in um, the shop in Peckham. She was getting obviously aggressively strangled by the Asian man who works there. I think he might be the owner. So yeah, you had Giggs, the rapper Giggs. Um, <laughs> he has something to say about it, you know, something along the lines of Black Queen in the community. I'll be having this, you know, yeah, yeah. that kind of, you know, that whole rhetoric in it. <laughs> you know, this is an outrage. <laughs> A Black Queen getting violated like this, you know, by non-black person in the community. That whole thing. So we have, yeah, we have to talk about black queen kings and black queens in this modern day contemporary society yeah so yeah so what's your guys what's your your take on it um, mandem do you know what i'm saying i think there is no criteria to be called a black queen or black king these days i think we use that term loosely mm. do you know what i mean you could be someone that's a criminal you could be robin stamp and someone say are oh, you still a black king do you know what i mean so yeah i think that that term we use, like we just use it loosely. Like nobody earns that. It's, it's something you need to earn to, to call yourself a king or queen. It comes with certain characteristics. Yeah, do you, you understand? Yourself, yeah. You need to carry yeah. yourself a certain way. Yeah. And I think we just use it loosely. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Do you think Malcolm X used it loosely after he came out of prison and he turned over a new leaf and he was doing his um, mm. talks? you know, his addresses to the black community I think in, in public. I think the term was more, because black people were kind of, if everyone's telling you you're not worth anything, it's to, if you put that term on yourself, you're a king or a queen. Empowerment. That, yeah, exactly. Empowers you, inspires you to carry yourself with more respect. With You have more confidence going into more, most situations. I think that's what it was meant to be for. Yeah. So it's not necessarily what you are, but what you should aspire to be. Mm. So, w- w- what does a black king do, and what does a black queen do yeah. to earn that title? What are you supposed to do in this day and age? What, what does that mean to you? In this day and age, you, you need to look at it from a standpoint of how is it in the household, and how do you respect your fellow partner and yourself as well too? Mm-hmm. How do you speak amongst your kids mm-hmm. as well too? So, mm. like you said, you can't be using that term loosely. Oh, I'm a black queen. I'm a black mm-hmm. queen. Yeah. And, <laughs> and yeah, when sure. we talk about the term black, what what is black? Mm. You know, think about yeah, what, what exactly. is the term black. Exactly. Yeah, remember, we need to understand the term black is a derogatory term. Yes, initially. So, uh, initially, that's yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. M- many people think like, oh yeah, we should actually keep calling ourselves black. But why? Mm. Why not just gods? In Queens, I yeah. think mm-hmm. just like that. But the I white man come on, come with that label. Who even gave us that label in the yeah, first place? Was it our much. oppressor? Did this is this what we called ourselves initially? Exactly. Yeah. So you got to look into that. Um, yeah. So yeah, because the word black, you know, from a European standpoint, is unclean. Yeah. You know, negative connotation. Ne- yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Exa- exactly that. Black, you know. Black, right. What, exactly. Black, black, black horse. Black 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 Okay. Negative commentations. It's yeah. always something. It's always oh. something negative. So when we run around saying we're black people, we need to know what we're actually saying. What, what, yeah. what, 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 you don't understand? Yeah. Because oh, we yeah. can't 
we can't. It's a different one. We can't just be. <laughs> OJ Simpson. People. I'm not black. I'm OJ. So I had to, <laughs> I had to throw that one in there. <laughs> we can't. We can't just be people because we're a minority here, and the majority mm. has defined us as black. Exactly. So there you I go. Think, you yeah. There's no escaping that. We shouldn't have to qualify the word. The fact that we're people with the word black in the first place, but it's. You know, I think if anything, we need to change the way we address ourselves, and hopefully, like it changes. But, yeah. yeah, but obviously, being black is is it's a very um, wide, you know, spectrum. Mm. You know, there's yeah. different diverse cultures mm. within you know so-called the black culture. Culture, yeah. you know, what I'm saying, you see black that. people in a, who live in like you know, the Pacific, you know, yeah. the islands around there, and yeah, different culture. Uh, you know, what I'm saying, there, there, there's there are Asian black people yeah. all, all across Asia, but who culturally have another. They just want to use that yeah. term. They, you know, what I'm saying, they, they, they haven't. The one umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. You are black people. But what does that yeah. tell you, though? Black people are all around the world. <laughs> black people yeah. are, are the majority. You know, you yeah, know, yeah, on yeah, yeah, on yeah, this yeah. Uh, on this earth. <laughs> you mentioned the Indians as well, too. Remember, they're of a darker skin as well too. But we need to understand Indians are Dravidians. We need to expand upon that point. They are Dravidian Indians. Dravidian, but they yeah. might have a darker mm. skin. Can you expand on that? Skin. Yeah. So remember. You're talking about the, the Neanderthal and stuff. You got Dravidian. So it's like Caucasians are derived from Neanderthals. Yeah. 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 Factual yeah. information. And, um, Asian, what, what, what are they Asian? Are they the Dravidians? Dravid- Asians? Yeah, Dravidians. So we're talking about people yeah. like the Bangladesh people from Bangladesh yeah. and all those. Because they don't have nappy hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. They don't have nappy hair. Because remember, dark. when you use the term black as well, too, okay, so are we going to call those Dravidian Indians right. black as well? Because remember, right. we are brown people. We, but, dude, this is what, you, like the original man was as black as, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. <laughs> That tripod there, really, really, and truly, you, you get different you know, complexions of black. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah. that's a beautiful there's thing. Compl- there's more complexions of the term black than even white. You see right. a white man, Caucasian man, you know there's a white. But exactly. there's light skin right. versions. Yeah, you hear white people saying, "You're not even that black." <laughs> have you heard that one before? <laughs> you have top all right. Bro, it's not you even have. <laughs> I'm like black brothers here, but we all have different skin mm, tones. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So exactly. We're diverse. So Still under the umbrella uh, of what are you going back to being black. Saying, the term black mm. should that even be used? Yeah. Ebony people, ebony. I'm sure you've you've heard about. Just so neuromelanin. Because that's 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 yeah. term, that's what we are. Neuromelanin. Mm-hmm. Because remember. Yeah. Caucasians still have melanin. A lot of people have melanin. No, of course. Plus, level. it's neuromelanin. Yeah, yeah. And when people ask, oh, wow, neuromelanin, what, what, what's that? You need to yeah. search that. Do mm. your own research mm. and find out what neuromelanin is. No. Yeah. That's the whole point of that as well. Exactly. Like, we need to start. What yeah. about the terms we call it? Okay, so we, we, we can't just say mel- melanated people because every race has Thank you. That's, yeah. that's why yeah. I mentioned yeah. 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 yeah, it's by design though, isn't it? You know, by design. It's by design. To, to, to this whole thing, but and we know. Yeah. Divide and conquer. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? So is Giggs in a. Is he wrong for. For addressing that post, <laughs> he put, he put Again, up. Maybe it is a term of. Are we having that? For example, in the community, are we having it? Black people call, calling our queen in a Peckham community. If if it's a, a title to make us strive, you know, initially what it was used for when Malcolm X was for you to aspire to empowerment. Yeah, empowerment. So maybe yeah. he's using it as a term of empowerment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we need to draw the line where if we're not behaving mm. a certain way. Yeah, that that is conducive to the, what that title contained, and yeah. then we shouldn't use. What it are you saying? Like Giggs overreacted with that one? I think there's an aspect. Yes. There's <laughs> an aspect. <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, <laughs> no, 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 listen. No, no, no. If he didn't see the whole cut, but when you look at the whole video and you know the context of it, yeah. If he's not seeing the whole video and the context of it, and he's just yeah. seen a black woman get strangled, no. Yeah. So what did you see? Did well, I think, yeah. If you watch the whole video and know the backstory, and you're calling our queen still. And you do, yeah, you're over it. But I think, I think there's, definitely, there's definitely an aspect of if we are viewed as one and something is happening to one person, mm-hmm. even if that shop owner isn't racist and he's just doing it because he, it, it's warranted, if we allow that to happen, someone that is racist can do that and feel like they can get away with it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like... They do it anyway. I think, but I think... I think just look, look at what happens in America. I think it's important... <laughs> For it to be clear that if something happens to 
a black person, even if um, they're in the wrong somehow, if there is excessive force used, there will be a response. I think I think it's important. I, I think it's important yeah, for that to you. be there. So there, there needs to be a clear line. Right. She was wrong, but you don't grab. Why don't so who did the police arrest? Okay, okay, okay. Who did the police arrest? Oh, go to your point. Why don't we do it to our own? Like when another black person does something to one black, but it's like we're only marching and doing this when someone from another race is done. Yeah, exactly. When we're from people, man, them are doing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stabbing and shooting and, X, y, and Z, killing yeah. each other 100 miles an hour. Nobody's marching. Yeah. Innocent black are getting hit. Crickets. <laughs> I even feel if it was another black woman strangling heart, it's the only it, marching. It, it's it's just a fight on tour. Yeah. It's just the fact that everyone's laughing at on Twitter for just no. It's, it's yeah, it's, if it's two women. black women, are, they're having a yeah. fight in, yeah. one, in a shop. Yeah, no one's saying do better. No one's saying yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we we pick and choose yeah. as a people, yeah. man. Pick and you know choose. What I mean? Yeah, but I'd, I still think it's the percent because because we're a minority. Mm. It still doesn't change the fact that you need to address if there is outward. Injustice. Yeah, it, it just has yeah. to be stamped out. In a way. We stamp it. We need. We can, yeah. we can deal with our internal stuff, but like we, that's that's what we need to deal with. But but but, but, but when you're the thing is yeah, yeah what yeah. You know when they say before you go deal with your own household, house, yeah. Before you step out there and explain, he, you know what I'm saying. He, he, he if someone was throwing eggs at my house, I need to tell him to fuck off. Mm -hmm. yeah, true. <laughs> no, of course, but when you're in the when you're like packs, you know packs in it. Yeah, come on, me cosmetic, me. you know, beauties. Um, shop for black people like yeah. going in there anyway like bro when you're in there you know that like, they're, they're secretly watching you they'll be in the same aisle as you at the bottom of that aisle like <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. pretending like yeah. they're stacking up the shelves but you you can feel like yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. they're trying to keep like tabs yeah, on you yeah, yeah. Uh, re really and truly mm. so like is, is that warranted though you know what I'm saying because of what other other black people might might, might do but <laughs> you know why if they have a whole bunch of white people there they're gonna be it won't be following them like but that in there that's true <laughs> in that sense what you just mentioned the whole sense of they're watching us following us that's where the whole what happened in black wall street we had our own stuff of course yeah after we world war ii had our own Come, stuff. yeah i'm gonna be honest with you what happened tulsa watching that like dravidium Indian, whatever we want to call that. The buckle. Like, <laughs> on the situation yeah, where yeah. he, you know, mm. reside at. Them doing that to us, that shouldn't fly, first of all. Yeah. Second of all, what you guys said, if it was a black woman, quote unquote, yeah. we would have just kicked back and act like, ah, oh, it's fine. But no, mm. long time ago, since Black Wall Street, that Caucasians actually destroyed, Whoa. they didn't yeah, want yeah. us to have at yeah. all. The military we bombed. We should have that step by step okay we need to start rebuilding and making sure that you know what we have this for ourselves we should, we should start packs. buying from ourselves all Listen, the time no it been a black woman that, we, the that store we should own packs mm -hmm. because all yeah. everything they sell is at like from for yeah. us isn't it Do you understand? So we should own a pack that's the next question you know what i'm saying why don't we <laughs> why the people that are selling money stuff to people who look like us mm. We're always going to the Asian, you know what I'm always going to the Asian man. Got Those people don't look like us. <laughs> market, even when exactly. we go to the market, the so go to the, the Asian man. Where is the accountability? Yeah. But it's Asian hair they're buying. In the black community. Oh, he said he said it's Asian hair. It's true. Buying. It's true. We mess up his Asian hair. That's the buying. that's that's the first thing. It was that was in our hand. When you look at what she's picking up, yeah. it's yeah. not it's not nappy hair, it's Asian hair. Yeah. yeah. That she's what? fighting for getting yeah. strangled. Self hate, is it? Is that well, you're screaming. So, yeah, you're getting strangled and wrestling. <laughs> no, for, but, for, but you, you get, you get, but, but, but you get, bro, you get like you get celebrities yeah. like um, Nicki Minaj and Beyonce who wear who wear like yeah, blonde yeah, wigs yeah. and that. So what do you, what do you, like what there's do you, a, there's a bit you can't down, go, it trickles down, it trickles you, down. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, can't yeah, go yeah. too hard on that. There's a bigger issue with the Eurocentric beauty standards that they all have to like adhere to. Yeah. So what 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 women are wearing braids? And that that's, so ah oh, culture appropriate appropriation. Uh, <laughs> <you> can, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna touch on all of that with you guys. So no, but I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like though, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, 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 like there's, there's you can't you can't win, bro. It's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you do don't. It, but I think we do it a lot more. <laughs> but we try and follow that European mode for for beauty. Our women do it more. Know, why, but the thing why, is, why women, now, they why also wear weave, so weave though. High. Why, why is yeah. we? Why is we? Why is black women um, stigmatized with wearing weave? Like it's just them. We know, we, you know, white women uh, wear weave. Yeah, all the time. Say it as well. Why? Why? They get, okay, I don't know. I'm not gonna say her why? name, but the girl that came to the, did she have a weave on? Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I don't know. I won't really pay attention to that. Yeah. So, so you could bet when you see a black ninety five percent of the time. <laughs> That's what they're gonna have on. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem. I'm yeah, talking it's about yeah, it's, yeah. it's too normal. Yeah. It's too common. It's too not normalized. Like them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now, what you guys mentioned now, I'll, I'll expound upon that now as well too. Mm. So, when women and, and you, you mentioned the term nappy as well too, I don't really go by that term because okay. we need to start saying terms yeah. of like our own here. You know, yeah, coy. Yeah, coy. That's, 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 that's the term. They, they, they yeah, you know, we, yeah, yeah. we can use that term because when you use the term nappy now, that's what most individuals have to say. Oh, your hair is nappy. What, what does that even mean? Oh, pepper yeah. greens. No, pepper you're, greens. It's not positive. You're no, degrading There's me. a negative connotation yeah, exactly. behind they're pep, they're pepper greens. Yeah, you're yeah. No, that's really disrespectful. So why couldn't you use a different tone of like, like coy or talking like, about my hair? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what you mentioned now with the um, with black women wearing weave and stuff like that. Mm. To a certain degree, I can allow black women wearing it, mm-hmm. but I don't allow it. And I'll explain why. There's nothing wrong with them wearing it. Because maybe some people have certain insecurities about their hair that they don't want to really touch because maybe wearing the lace front, it took the edges off and they don't really want to be out. In Do you think it's really insecurity then? Re- is, that what, is, that, is that your argument? It has to be. Pro- it has to be. Like so predominantly? It's, it's, or what, what are you telling us? On the line and not really a security, but it's just that that's how they actually felt and they wore that type of hair for such a long time. That's what they, they, they it's fine mm. with them, mm. but it's not that they don't, they're not happy with their hair. And it's not all black women either. It's right. not all. Yeah. But well, you guys mentioned cultural appropriation. Mm. When when you see a uh, like I mentioned, I always got to keep saying it. Black quote unquote yeah. black, black woman yeah. wear blonde wigs, mm. and a Caucasian lady wear yeah. braids in their hair. Mm. That is fine. The, the black woman can't really get upset when she see the white woman wearing mm. that as well. well too. What mm-hmm. I was saying is, there's a difference between assimilation and cultural appropriation Mm -mm. so maybe the black women are wearing their hair because they had to adapt to to seem beautiful whereas the cultural appropriation is more that looks cool i'm going to take that and then make it seem like it's mine Mm. i think that's okay but but i do agree that if Uh, especially now if if we a lot of black women are wearing wigs you can't mm. really insult a white woman for just having would you prefer to see Mm. more of the natural hair when you're with a sister in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah, do braids, you do braids, you see uh, enough of her natural hair or not? No, my, my, no. Partner uh? my partner hears lux. Huh? My Oh, I hear. I read that. Yeah, 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 yeah. right. yeah. other, other than you, like do, any, any, yeah, anyone I'm else. The black girl I dated, the gay got weaves. So you I'm don't you, you don't see that natural bad. hair. But like, when you it's beautiful. Well, they wear so, the mat over it after mm. we've done. They've got the. Do you know what I mean to protect? Yeah. Yeah. So I went to I went to Ghana, right? And in Ghana, you you. You don't even have weaves at a certain level of school. Yeah. So I used to just see girls with. Yeah, straight. This one, so there I you go. I was getting used to seeing it. There you go. 100%. Make it, make it normal. Yeah. Oh, 100%. But now, a lot of women are wearing it natural hair. It's it's become the norm now. A lot of women are locking their hair. A lot of women. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, what you guys said about my part or the woman who I'm dating, mm-hmm. I wouldn't even care if she hair was bald. That's to show you how much yeah. I'm serious about. I want my partner to have her natural hair. She's, 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 she's. I don't care. Yeah. 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 Well, like, she got my trip, but she don't care. Like, mm, I actually don't care. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 you're Jamaican, but you give me very African like yeah. vibes. Yeah. So, like you are, Af- you know, you are African anyway, right? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, uh. I literally don't care what she wear as long as her hair. Mm. Well, like I say, I, I'm not gonna knock out a black woman that's what wearing I'm, her, mm. her weave. That's what I'm saying. I have I'm not mad at it like that. I think it's uh, it's from. Other like um, self hating like Negroes, <laughs> basically who you know what I mean who um, who try and poke fun. I know you say you're not gonna hate, but do you think it, it does become an issue when they, that's all we see and they get used to that just wearing weave and now they're not confident to show their natural hair? Does it become an issue when they never want to be natural and they use the weave consistently? Yeah. No, it, no, and yes. I don't want to sit on him and lie to you guys mm. in your face all the time. Like, oh, yeah, yeah I don't come, mind. Like, yeah, no. yeah, come on. No, and yes, because remember, when it comes to work places yeah. as well, too, they do a lot of foolishness about yeah. trying to touch the person's hair and stuff. Yeah. Like, and, oh, can you, like... 
adjust it a little bit. What you mean adjust it a little bit? You hear it's a bit. Yeah. What, what you mean? So now they gotta like yeah. fit the beauty standards yeah. of the world. But in the yes. 70, look at in the seventies and days of like um, Malcolm X in seventies. All women were natural with afros. Yeah. Afros, yeah. What exactly. happened? What, what's wrong with that? Don't no, see, no, see What's those African American women you, African-American who were revolutionaries. Yeah, yeah. they are an epitome. They Come epitomize on. what a black queen, a modern day black queen, is supposed to be about. Yeah. Well, in every yeah. sense of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. the hair. You know what I'm saying? I will um, say the pride. You know all the European mm, chains of the and right. I'm an African woman. Yeah. This is how I was naturally. You know, young. standing in solidarity with a black man and. Yeah, 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 he, yeah, yeah. You know, I think, yeah, it's just, it's deviated, like, mm. over time, hasn't it? Definitely has, definitely has. Hasn't it? Especially with social media, you know. Oh, social media. Social it's, media plays a big part you know, as well, too. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So, it's, yeah, so when people, like, again, back to, obviously, that incident in Peckham, you know, there, there, was, there was an Asian woman. Yeah. I think the video went kind of viral, and she was just saying, like, man, who's been working in Peckham, yeah. you know, for he, he's got a shop there, been there for twenty odd years. Yeah, he, he has this old location, and people are calling him racist. <laughs> it's like She's got I, f- I feel like nowadays the, the people are letting the cat out of the bag now. Like you're seeing, do you remember the um, that video in um, in Alabama okay. <laughs> where the cat, where the, the black guy was getting like rushed by the by the, by the white um, boat punters and that, oh, and yeah, then, yeah, then the people come over and yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? You're seeing like, you know, social media, you're seeing people like, you know, standing up to Karens. Like, <laughs> you know, black women standing up to Karens. Like, it's easy. Look, I did it. Social media, you know, it's not, you know, it's not reality in that sense. It is to an extent, but, you know, it's, it's a, you know what I mean? It's, it's the digital world, it isn't it? So it can make people think, oh, this is what's happening when it's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It gives us a certain representation or yeah, a yeah, certain, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A certain image of, yeah. you know, what it is it that you're... It what you were saying about the loud minority because that's all it pushes mm. that represents right. us, to represent us. Right, you know so, I mean? are you, okay, are you, um, arguably, are you saying now mm. the loud minority yeah. are the forefront of this uh, incident that happened in, yeah, in, in, in Peckham, because yeah, after that you had pe- you, you had pro black black people, people, women coming out, you know what I'm saying, and you know dressed in white supremacy. It's kind of like not all of us are going on a cross society. society. You know, you can't got get a refund. Not every black yes. woman is going to get into a fight because Most the policy you can't yeah. get a refund. My, my, Most black women say, okay, you don't do a refund. Okay, thank you very much, yeah. and yeah. leave the shop. Yeah, but well, they're going to put so, that narrative out. There. So we need to look at things on the human level and not. Yeah. Everything driven by emotion, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you remember, like, what, you've got to remember, you know, what co- constantly we're seeing, like, black people subjected to. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're not doing you're nothing wrong, and you're still getting harassed by police. Yeah. Black man can't fish in peace in America. You know, you've got yeah, white people yeah. pulling up on them, like, you know, <laughs> you reported us, yeah, but hey, like, don't do that. You know, you should know your place. It's like. <laughs> Is that who black people can't catch a break, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's there's 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 a lot of that, you know, that underlying well. um, factor mm. as to why people are reacting to the way out. I was checking the comments as well on Giggs' post, isn't it? You know, a lot of people were like <laughs> like were bashing like Giggs for what he said, like black queen, yeah, she's not a black queen. Also, there was, people in the comment there was also black people that, that that were disapproving of, or, you know, what I'm saying yeah, of yeah. how the, the the woman black I'm people black people are not a monolith. This, this is what we need to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was that uh, child prodigy in Peckham you were telling me about. Yeah, child pro- um, prodigy. I Two. think he was six years old and he had the IQ of somebody that was year nine, mm-hmm. year ten. But they never promoted him anywhere. When you look at mm-hmm. Peckham, what's it known for? Gang mm-hmm. violence. Exactly. You know Blue story. Blue yeah. story. <laughs> and he's a black boy. He's a young black boy and he's got the IQ of someone that's in year nine. That's fourteen. Mm. No one's talking. About no one's talking. I think uh, a Carla yeah. shared the post, but you'll never know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's coming from these environments where they portray are from only the the general yeah. come out. Yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't see things like that. And they don't highlight those stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. It's like okay, where do we go from now? You know, from here. Like the media was there. The media went and spoke to the shopkeeper, and like from what I saw, he seemed like he was genuine. He seemed yeah, like he was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was speaking to my boy about it. He was saying like, "Raw, the thing about like." Back in Asia, especially the mm. way obviously w- women's rights are not the same as like they are uh, um, c- compared mm. to the West. So there's a certain way like men treat 
women in yeah, in their cu- in in their culture is, as well. Yeah, That's what one of my friends it was. Man's head. They know Asian women. Them countries. They ain't smacking yeah. no basket on no. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you think it's just a strangle, bro? Yeah, I, yeah, no, I remember right. when I was in Iceland, and I got into a situation where there was a couple, black couple, and the woman was mm. like being aggressive in the situation, basically. And I'm telling the brother, "Look, chat, can you chat to your woman? He's not having it. He's like, oh, what are you talking about?' And that stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm. In Iceland, you know, like this is where, like, us as a people, yeah, it's like find ourselves in these situations and yeah, yeah. where like something like that could go, so easily go less when someone's in hospital someone's dead someone's dead and yeah. do, you know what I mean in a public place and then you know like I have to deal with that situation accordingly you know mm-hmm. but I I haven't got into a situation like that with, with a white person with an Asian person yeah with a Chinese person yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, so, like whether you like it or not like you know do you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's like there has to be accountability for me. That's what, I, I, bro. We talk all the time, bro. Mm. You know, every day. And we, you know, we, what, what do I always say? What are my arguments? You know, yeah. About when we talk about you know black affairs, what, what do I what do I bang on about the most? T? The accountability, what, accountability, yeah. Accountability. accountability. <laughs> it's accountability. I'm accountable. Account- the blame game. We're not in shackles, but this is, we're not. This is not like we're not enslaved. You know, yeah. when are we, we if we stop making up so, so much have, excuses, no, some, of, some, some, some of us, yeah. Mm, we have more altercations with ourselves. Do you know what I mean? Than people that are yeah. outside yeah. of our race. And <laughs> I say, if you look at, if you look at maybe like gangster movies, I guess, you look at mob, ma- Italian mafia movies, mm. there, you can see there's a clear emphasis on family. Like there's crime underlying yeah. it, all of it. Of but yeah. there's like a core of values there yeah. that you see. But if you look at something like Top Boy, I don't know who's loyal to anyone. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, 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 is that, like, yeah, that's the hood for you, but that's... Our, his son killed... Like, that, you know what I mean? No, there's there's no, no, like... That's the light that we keep getting shown in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As reckless as yeah. you have no, But oh, no, no, that's also no, by no. design. They, they like to romanticise um, white gangsterism opposed yeah. to, to, to black gangsterism. Mm, yeah, yeah, this is, this is no, total think, different narratives. Yeah, they, they love celebrating the craze in this country. You know, they get on the TV and like they're yeah. talking about them like they, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think that's still like they made it romantic. significant. You know, pos- black, black thing, you I know. think that's still being romanticized. No, that's, that's, for, mo- that's, that, that's for money though. And it keeps us like ignorant. Yeah. Like yeah. There's, there's money yeah. in ignorance. To but you. he's got a point. The black thing, gangster thing is definitely romanticized and glamorized. The bad boy thing. Yeah. Because every movie we do that's successful. Yes. No, they try and legitimize it when it comes to like the the, the mob or when it comes down to like like yeah. English white mm. gangsters. They try and like you know they try and See, make this it. is organized. They, no, they, oh, yeah. they, they try and sell it to you like they, they, like they're fucking mm. heroes of some sort, basically. Well, like, yeah. like yeah. Uh, this, this yeah. 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 you know what I'm saying. But when it comes to bro, like when there's a stabbing or something, bro, look at the mugshots that they have on the newspapers, bro. Like representation is a big thing, bro. Man studied it at, at university, you know, mm. you know the media. Execute that perfectly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to, 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 to misrepresent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, certain groups of, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the people that are in the newsrooms in this country are filled of predominantly white people, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Who are not from working class uh, environments. Not from mine, bro. Jo- journalists get, get employed, yeah, um, more than um, who study j- people who study journalism get employed mm. more than any other, yeah, any uh, any other students. You know, uh, po- 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 post and they, they come from a certain. Push the agenda. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So the, bro, still there's a lot of drugs for you. I read this in a literature review. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. do you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's it's all it's all by design, man. If you unpack it, it, it yeah. <laughs> it's what well, flying the wall is I'd about. Say, I'd say we still romanticize it because I think, like, let's say Tariq, for example, in that Tariq Nasheed. No, no. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> you know. That, Oh right! Okay. Like people still rate him or they're rooting for him, like as a character. Like granted, it's it's just a series, but it's he's occupying a, a like a space that most rappers use as like a narrative. That's that sort of or thing. the gangster thing. And the we still thing, like rate that in a way. No, and no, I feel no, like that's that's like a whole a, topic. We we know about that. The hood is it like we rate those type of figures. The thing is, we make films that that um for it to sell. Whereas well, you don't see that talk, of, you don't see those sort of films about um, t- uh, organized crimes involving the um, the Turks, 
uh, organized crime involving Asians, Asians Albanians, Albanians. Yeah. Why do you, why is it like ga- black people mm. are so um, connected to gangsterism? Like we are the biggest I, gangsters. I, 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 so. <laughs> we I, I, sell the I, I, most I, I, drugs. Even in the crime thing, we're the bottom of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? Why is it? Yeah. <laughs> because why? remember, mm. even the term minority. I don't even like that term, man. Come on. Because it's so... I mean, it's a fact. It's, it's othering, othering. Yeah. Have you heard of it? It others. It, it others. Mm. But, it others you. But like. when people use it for us, they want to put us <laughs> with, 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 you know, like most of the Asians. Because remember, Asians and quote-unquote black people are getting squished. But I'll exp- explain that part mm. that you just mentioned as well, too. It's to target the youth. That's the reason nothing... To else. corrupt them. The corruption for the youth. Mm. That's why... Because remember what? Then the guy said um, Top Boy was just basically based off of uh, when you worked at Iceland or wherever shop he said he worked at. Mm. And it was based off yeah. of a young guy who used to come there to work and yeah. sell drugs. That's why he said that it was based off yeah. of Top Boy. Whoa. But the reason why <laughs> these shows, these movies are so glorified and put on a high pedestal mm. is to make sure that the young girls, young boys mm. are destructional. Make sure that well, you stay in a perpetual state of ignorance. Exactly. So <laughs> these tracksuits, these everyone wants to wear Gucci side bags. Everybody needs to wear Louis Vuitton top. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah Jordan fours. Yeah, sure. Everyone yeah. wants to wear Jordan ones. Yeah. Everyone yeah, so, wants to be in but ignorance. But nobody does it like us. I, I, nobody I, does market it like us. Nobody. And the, 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 like, the it's like a blessing. It's, culture, it's like it's not our culture. It's not my culture. But you see how they'll brainwash it. Oh, yeah. this is your culture. Yeah. <laughs> Having Jordans is the culture of that. Having Gucci is the culture. Coonery! That's not that's that's man's culture. They're saying that's, that's culinary is the culture. Yeah, they'll yeah. push it like that. So they're but, already brainwashing you there. They're programming you. That's not my culture. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not crude, no, you're going to think that's your culture. Because yeah. essentially, you're going to spend your that's, money on that stuff. Yeah, that's, I mean? that's the lane that they want us to go in. The rather yeah. black people. Go to a shoe. Yeah. yeah. Could go to um, right. JD and actually spend like 50 pounds right. on a decent little shoe to go. Like, oh, yeah, right. People yeah. could be like, oh, but you're wearing these type of Nike. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's probably 100 and something I spent. Yeah. You need to understand, spending four bills yeah. on a shoe. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. That, that's why that's why they give us rappers as the idols. They don't yeah, give us no, no MPs. They call it the rap monkey. <laughs> rap monkeys or oh. rap raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> He's rapper coons. Be spending two thousand. Hey, Evil Johnson. The first thing they they get that a little bit of money instead of getting a house of property because of the culture they'll go get a train. <laughs> back. Instead of putting that down on a business, but, but you see how it. far this culture thing pushes us for destruction. Yeah. Um, we get the money, yeah. we'll spend it on the, the the ignorant stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Young Jock, he was like, we don't know what to do with the money. He was like, oh yeah, we we buy it, we'll buy. It. They put when it's happening. You trying to catch up. You too late. A reaction to get you killed. So I just think like, yo, we got to keep our head on the swivel at all times. I don't care where you at. Uh, even walking through the house, bro. Even walking through the house. I'm going to the kitchen. Strap. I'm taking a shit. Strap. I'm in the shower. Ooh, watch your teeth. Watch your teeth. Baby, be easy. Strap. And I ain't even trying to be funny. I'm dead ass for real. You can ask my mama. You ask my kids. I hate my kids have to see that, but I, I'm, I'm letting it be known. I, hey, nah. Because if you're in the house kicking and somebody kick your door, you think, oh, you got time to run to a room and get a strap? You might panic. You don't know what you'll do in a situation. Because I've been in situations where something almost happened and I... Bro, I watched a cat get shot right in front of me. You from Los Angeles TV and I'm going to check that shit out, bro. We don't know what to do with the money when we get it. And I'm, I'm getting to the point this shit done on me like five months ago. Yo, I bust my ass to make money. I work hard only to give it away. It's a bartering system. It's a Federal Reserve note. This says that when I transfer it, the power of this note is transferred to you now. So if I'm going to work hard to go make a half a million dollars, I'm going to be willing to go give it away to the designers, to the people that build the cars, to play with bitches in the streets, to pay attorneys who be crooked as f***. We know this. You know what it costs. You get a murder charge, how much is it going to cost you minimal? I need a 30 retainer to even got to talk about it. Even in business, it costs. To, to, you got to work hard to be able to afford that attorney. That happens every day. We get the money away. We're not putting it where it go. We're not utilizing it properly. 2,000, 3,000 fucking no. Louis outfit. And then we'll get a receipt and we'll be given, we, we, we've transferred the power 
to Louis Vuitton. So that receipt, <laughs> that receipt is to say like, yeah, yeah I gave you my money <laughs> in return to the goose. So this receipt... Uh, from Mayweather in South Africa, he flew to South Africa just to spend seven million in a <laughs> Rich slaves, is he a rich slave? Like, do you understand? If I say a rich slave, do, do people understand that concept? He has to be, he has to be. Yeah. <laughs> seven million. You know, it's like, it was like your Uncle Tom, basically, isn't it? You know, you had a field niggas a slavery, innit? And then you had an Uncle Tom. Come on, come on, come on. There's, there's, there's a bit where he said, um, uh, they were like, Do you consider yourself African? He was like, What's Africa ever done for me? Like you wouldn't be here. Like, is that what you? Uh, no, I seen that video. He put he put straight context to it because that's what the American like to like like they love the labels to like to divide no, no, people. But it seems they and he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a black so. American. Like he's an American at the end of the day. He's saying like oh, labeling you an African American. Yeah, but your, is your culture African? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Is like I'm a black. I'm, I'm, I'm American. American now because, it, because it's, no, it's a multicultural he's country. Mm. From his culture over yeah. generations, so he can't identify. He's so is that when he, when he's in the Olympics? What does he represent? What he says? Yeah, America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't say African America when he's out there like fighting for America. Mm. It's like, you're, you're, you're American. <laughs> but I'll say something as well too. As you mentioned, like, when the guy asked him, what are you? Are you African? And he said, oh, what's an African? He's not African. And the reason why I say he's mm -hmm. not African, mm -hmm. he was mm -hmm. born in America. So mm -hmm. we need to understand that term, African American, that's nonsense. Of course. Because Africa is Africa. Mm. America Thank you. is America. Thank you. Bro, need to remember, bro. Most of the people, those were like the Indians, those Cherokees love them, and have stuff, Indian. yeah, they, they were they there them, already. They. Exactly. So them saying that Africans come to America and yeah. that's where it's African American, that's nonsense. They're yeah. trying to lie. People need to understand They're saying, need to do mm, research. Most African Americans have actually uh, have, have native American yeah. like, in, in them. 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 Mo them. Even yeah. Soup Dog. Yeah, no, the majority. I can't remember like what the percentage we can get it up on the screen, but like, yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah, and I always say, you know, we talk about um, uh, what is that called? Um, appropriation, mm -hmm. cultural appropriation. There's a difference between knowing your race and your culture, mm -hmm. and it's very, very key to know your culture. So last time I was here, we talked about 89% of African Americans have native in their lineage. So if you're claiming that native side, learn the culture. If people, if people wanted to get a more in-depth of understanding of the culture of like America, watch Dane Calloway. But I Dane think, Calloway explains it more. I think it was the dismissive nature of him saying, what's Africa ever done for me? Because it's almost like, it's an insult. Yeah. See, the undertone. The undertone of it. That's what's wrong. The, yeah. the, the, under, the undertone of it. Yeah. When majority of the resources in the world come from that country. But he's, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a rich... He's a rich... So my thing is, even if you put some respect on Africa's name, innit? Yeah, like, exactly. Majority of these resources, even these phones, these diamonds. Why do you think all these Western countries are over there? With a hand in Africa. On that's, on why, that's why yeah. Congo... Congo's, respect it. Congo's never stable because... Shout out my country, Congo. Congo. Come on. Every iPhone has... Natural resources that mm. they mine in Congo. So it, if, if it it's cold. Co in the upper part of the world. Yeah, it's cold time, and now mm. they're they're using cobalt to mm. push out more electrical yeah. cars around the world. So the more yeah, you, yeah, see, it, you it, see, you see, you see electrical cars, the more suffering. The more exactly. suffering. <laughs> the repression that's, that's going that's on. That's a stable country. In, in, in Congo. That's a stable country. That's the bread the basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Congo is the Congo is the basket of, yeah. of the world, arguably. Like especially about electricals. Like yeah, don't, don't yeah, yeah, piss yeah. me off. And I know that we're moving into electrical cars. Now we need to start talking about okay. Why isn't Africa has an electrical car? Maybe it has. It's in works, but. German, French, American, Japanese, Chinese, oh, no, all person. these cars, everyone's, everybody else has a car. But well, why Africa, Africa mm. don't have a car? Yeah. You know, no. we need to start talking about yeah. that. So yeah. there, there's a Ghanaian um, engineer, I can't remember the name, but he's built like a car. I saw that, yeah. And he's built, I think, robots as well. <laughs> oh, but, In Ghana. Yeah, but like, yeah. Not, not like anything crazy, but the car is a, a legit car. Mm. But I think there was a, um, so, the they tried to sanction Ghana for polluting too much. So they were like, you have to buy pollution points to warrant how much you pollute. So you have to pay money mm. for how much you want to pollute. <laughs> we're already the reason they're polluting is because why do they violate black people like this? Bro, Sorry, uh, but continue. <laughs> already, the reason they're polluting as much is because they 
granted, there's a misuse of resources internally, but they don't have the money to pay to invest in the solar power and like everything else. We have the biggest yeah. um, dam. To redistribute that. Because yeah. like, it's, it's, all, it's all in the pockets of the yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. Yeah. Corru- African leaders. It's a backwards way for someone to, to, to get someone to do something that they need money for, to tell them they have to pay money. Bro. to do the thing that they're doing wrong. Like, it's, it's, it doesn't it's well, but, but are you seeing the tactics they're using? Bro, yeah. bro. bro. The tactics I, they're using. I have to blame the leaders, man, like, uh, for allowing this to, to, to happen. And there's the, 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 the unequal the trade relationship. Yes. The exploit- okay. it, it, so, so most people wouldn't believe the level of <laughs> of oppression and exploitation yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that actually yeah. goes on. They wouldn't have like, ah, you, you're lying. They would have buried their head in the sands about it. I think you're starting to see signs. But our struggle since the 60s, you will see nothing but betrayals by the petty bourgeois elements in our society. The African bourgeoisie is the most corrupt bourgeoisie in the world. In Africa, they seek luxury in the midst of mass suffering. There are more Mercedes in Africa than in any other continent in the world. In America, as soon as they arrive at a position based on this blood of the people, they snatch that position and run away from the people. But you must not think that they represent the people. They only represent their opportunistic self using the people every step of the way. So you must not be confused. You know, people waking up. West Africa? Think, you know, think, you'll be yeah, hearing about the Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria. Well, what was they doing over there? Nigeria, bro. Yeah, uh, a, coup, innit? You know what I'm saying? They've over, for, yeah, over from... Over from the French. The, well, they, well, they put him in house arrest. <laughs> the, 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 um, the prisoner of... Um, Nigeria? Yeah, 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 yeah literally. Oh, yeah. You get me? I think so, um, Ivory yeah. Coast and Ghana, mm. something happened um, with the... Like, something to do with Coco. And... They were, I think there were sanctions on them for the way they were transporting it. So then they decided, okay, then we'll come to the summit. That's Ghana. Because they yeah. make most Ghana. of the cocoa. Ghana. Like, yeah. yeah, Ghana, yeah. Ghana and Ivory Coast, I think. They both decided not to come because they both, mm. if they stop selling cocoa, then I think it's only Brazil that's. Yeah, yeah. So it's a problem. Yeah. yeah, it's a big, yeah, it's a major. Yeah. Yeah. Colombia, I think, yeah. arguably. Yeah. Colombia, and then so. um, I think a lot of. Um, Chinese people were making illegal mines in Ghana to mine mm-hmm. gold. Chinese, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese and, to get them out of there. No, but no, 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 no. The, lead, the, the leaders don't want that. No, no, no. The leaders don't want no, that. But, They're but responsible. The, the fucking coony leaders, bro. Where, where no, about the leaders? So they're saying, the gatekeepers, man. No, but they get bought and sold. Sorry. Yeah. So one of, one of the illegal mines, right? The woman I was running it went missing. The police didn't say anything. No one said anything. So they're like, if you're gonna do this here, it's not just gonna be something that you can come and. You know, break, break the law here. Yeah. Okay. So they're like, oh, yeah, this it's not it's not running. It's not running. They're not having it. Yeah. Come on. Bro, they're standing up, trust me. It's sorry, but surely you need to get the Chinese Universal out, karma, man. We need to get bare people yeah, out. So and, and as you but the China, roads they're building in like we need to, yeah. Well, I mean Congo, them. trust me, man, they're bringing like dead roads and like, that's that's just collapsing that's up, like after a week and killing roads. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But listen, like the, the our leaders, man, like listen, this doesn't happen without our leaders. But they yeah, kill yeah. they kill the ones that Kwame Kromo suffered a coup and I was internally of course. But it, I'm sure there were there were like external forces that motivated the guy to start the coup. But he was pushed out of office and he's the guy and that helped Ghana get independence. Of course. I think Sankara, I can't remember. Sankara, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah bro, Burkina Faso. Doing... So the new so uh, Ibrahim Traore, who's the the new president of um Burkina Faso. Mm. Like yeah, he's the youngest president in the world. Is he more like Sankara? The, the, huh? Is he like Sankara? Though? Oh yeah, yeah, he's carrying on that legacy. Yeah, yeah he's good. the youngest head of state in That's the in the world. Yeah, That's good. you know what I'm saying. Mm. So uh, you know you're not you're you're seeing the tectonic plates shift. Mm. Yeah, you know, sure, and it's happening yeah. in, in West Africa. But it's people like someone like someone like Congo. It's so big, man. When it's so it's big, it's, and, you know, the size of countries. Western Europe. Yeah. 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 And, and you know, know what I mean? Really, like, like we think of Congo as such a small place, right? Because it's not. Who does? Like, <laughs> no, but people people who don't know, and even if you look at the the map of Africa, it just looks smaller than like. No, you know what? No, like, you don't realize how yeah. massive it is. It is massive because Africa, Africa, Africa's like the biggest that. Ca- Caucasians yeah. made it smart. Yeah, yeah. by dividing great. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. People still thinking that's a country, and you, know, you gotta <laughs> laugh. If there was <laughs> yeah. if there was an AU, no one could do anything without 
be, it being linked somehow to Africa because most yeah. of the resources in the world. Come on, majority of the resources. Bro, majority. Black people all around the world are doing well in the big Jew world. Lee, mm. you know what I'm saying? Collectively, when you look up group mm. economics, you know, you mm. see all the other races, how they buy and sell from mm. each other, you know, before the money goes out into another, yes, yes, it's yes. another a community. Do you think they all fucking get along? Do you think they're all best of friends? Do you think they all see eye to eye every day? Do you but think they, they they're business. fucking, exactly. like, they're having tea parties every well, this is fucking day with each other? This is why I made that mm. statement about black people being too emotional and not being able to get past our disagreements and do business with another black brother. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But the, it, other, the other races, they just get on with it. They it, don't have these petty disagreements. They just get on with it. We're making no, they, money. They can do, but they, they, can, they but still it's not going to get in the way of their, their business. This is yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. They, this yeah. is what I'm saying. It's like, there is power, you know, the, in, in, in numbers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the strength yeah, in strength. numbers. And yeah. Yeah, this is how I started my own, like, um, company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Off the back of, reading books about um about group economics and how how anything you you read anything all this information that we're exposed to how can it how can it work for you mm-hmm. there's better information going on everyone's regurgitate everyone sounds like they're fucking einstein or mm-hmm. everyone you, you will see well, youtube adverts to you. about how to be rich yeah. to, uh, you know overnight yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how does this work for you, you yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? How can you use it for it to benefit you? And yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? For you to grow an empire and put people, do you know what I'm saying? And put mm. people and put people on. You know what I'm saying? You're, you know how it is when we deal, we're dealing with our own people. You know what I'm saying? It's no, difficult. It it's difficult. Our own people are gonna move a certain way a lot yeah, of the time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's about obviously finding the right brothers to, to build with and build with right yeah, and and, and not and not giving up. You know the cop out is like, oh yeah, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, yeah, the yeah, niggas, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. Fuck, what do, fuck, yeah. fuck the man them, and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. But that's what they, that's what they want, you know. That's what they want to do because yeah, yeah. every other community are not moving like that. I mm-hmm. think there's more of a, or there has been at least more of a deliberate effort to discredit black people in the public eye, and I think mm-hmm. other black people buy into that image as well. So yeah. I think it's easier mm-hmm. when it's easier to work with your brothers when mm-hmm. the majority aren't telling you or your brothers are telling you. Again, it should is it, the yeah. loud minority. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They put that loud minority exactly. of degenerates, yeah. and then we buy into the loud mm-hmm. minority, yeah. and we think is the majority. No, oh, of course. Well, so what about the people, the people that um that work, the black people that work hard, you know, within America, UK, mm. you know, or like Nigerians that migrate to America and become rich, successful after and, yeah, and work absolutely hard, hard and and, and, and and like have they got an with... obligation mm. to, to give back to people that look like them. Well not a monolith man. Black all black people don't think the same. I, I always like reiterate this, this Listen, with the original people were yeah. the most diverse. Exactly. You know, they right. went to Africa, they found the most DNA variation yeah. in Africa. Yes. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that tells you, civil it started there. There you go. There's exactly. less DNA variation in it there, in Europe. There you go. All, you know what I'm there, saying? There you go. The Chinese, man, that's how you have, you go. Have, you have the Namibians with the slanted eyes. Come on. Yeah. Is that, you know where come the on. came from? Come on. We don't all have big noses. Some of us have small noses. Yeah. Yeah. We've we got the it's, most it's, variation. It's, it's the... Some people as well too, as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Spread out. It's so started there, and we Australia, spread out. Australia, so Japan. Oh, if my parents you, like thought about excuses, bro, like you know, I wouldn't be here to the, you know, here today. Like yeah, yeah. you know, my parents never mm. what they've been through, you know, escaping like you know a war torn country like Congo. Mm. You know, what I'm saying coming over here. To give man a be- better life, yeah, and yeah, yeah. where was the excuses? There was no excuses. Uh, from I didn't, I didn't hear. You can't afford it. No excuses for my parents. Yeah. So naturally, like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Me, I like you know what I'm saying. When I call out certain shit, and like some people are like, nah, man, you're not you're compassionate enough. You're not nah, man. Like why are you saying this about black people? I, you yeah. know, there's voices like that. Nah, but nah, nah. Excuses. Yeah. <laughs> you're just gonna see. You're just gonna see you're from real. That, this that is what you need to be angry about. Yeah. Be angry about racism. Like, you know, do you even understand what racism is? Do you know what I'm saying? You think, oh, you niggas, you think that's racism? No, or you, no. <laughs> if you think that's, if you're caught up in that, you know that's what I'm saying, brother? Bro, you should stop looking past that. No, listen, someone who's Caucasian, Indian, Chinese, whatever, call you use that term. 
You should just be like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, because you black cunt. Yeah, I am black. I am a cunt. Yeah. Brother, no. <laughs> well, we call ourselves that. Yeah, that's how delusional we are. And that's true. We use that every second. These rappers, nigga, nigga, my nigga, my nigga. My nigga. We say I, it. I think, honestly, I we think. Off, we flipped it to in, in society, like, what I see in society, I think, like, you know, obviously, yeah. we're talking about minority. When we're talking about the hood. We're talking about, you know, where if I say. Black people are oppressing black people, well, that's that's what like that's yeah. what I see. That's what. So let's not make up excuses. Like we'll yeah. talk about the stabbings that are going on at this disproportionate level in yeah. in London, the yeah. capital. Who's it done by? Guess what? Black people, whether they're African, Indian, Jamaican, oh, uh, do, do you know what I'm saying? Whether whether you're from Congo, yeah. whether you're from Saint Lucia, from guess what? You can't run away from that. That the most of the stabbings that are going on at this proportionate level is yeah. done by black. Youth, black people. 100%. You can't escape that. You can't, yeah. You can't escape that, brother. Even, Peckham, even, <laughs> where, even where the thing went on, in Peckham, majority of what you said, mm-hmm. that's what's going on. But the, the community ain't dressing that. <laughs> they ain't marching for all them gangbangers in that area. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. In Peckham, there's issues there, but you are not marching. You don't notice that you, you've ignored the issues that are going on in your own community. So we're allowed to kill each other. Like, yeah, even yeah. what happened to Chris Cabot, like, I went, you know what I'm saying, I went to the to the march, um, the march yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. outside the metro Portland, but you feel it, you know what I'm saying, especially yeah, when it was Congolese, yeah. you feel it, you know, I was there with my cousin, mm. was he, he's very close to mm. Chris and his family, you know, and I'm just like, I have told him, like, we do like this, like, do we do what the police officer done to Chris, yeah, we do that to each other on a daily basis. Yeah. Mm, how about that? He, you know, he was just like, I know, but because obviously he's, you know, he's in pain about what's happened. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, not, yeah. but, what what do we learn from situations like that? What what is the what is the takeaway? <laughs> do, do, do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, we go through the you know what I mean the trauma of it, the pain of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. If you're, if you're treating your brother like that, how are you so shocked when someone so no. losing your brother? <laughs> this is yeah. like that, don't think they're not looking at how you treat your brother. Mm, mm. Don't think so they're, they're not thinking, listening. They're not listening. To how you treat, but so, so you so what's wrong if they do it? You're this is more of a reason that they can get away with it. Yeah. And then the people no, in power. You, you do the, and, then, and then the government. The police are the government. Yeah, yeah, the, government. <laughs> the government are killing I you. Because you're not killing each other. Police yep. were not designed to protect black people. Police mm. were designed to, was it the rich people? Were to yeah, guard protect, them, protect the yeah. rich people. And and in America. Don't forget. Started from they slave were, catchers. They mm. were basically from the slave the catchers so in America. Slaves. There you go, guys. They were to make sure, catch us and make sure, bring us back, get the dogs. So that was, they were to police us. To Come on. us about. But and they catch us and they make us the new slaves, which i.e. prisoners. Because mm, yeah. when you're in jail, you're a slave. <laughs> so this is the this is the same yeah. thing what by the, are doing. By right? design. Even the schools, when you see all the schools set up as well too, it's just, just like prison as well too. Yeah. Same way how schools look. But so yeah, yeah that's I guess that goes back to you asking if they have um if someone makes money here and they're African, do they have an obligation? I think it's in their best interest whether they feel obligated or not to do that. Because you're never gonna th- truly thrive in a place where. But it doesn't work like that. Though. You're the minority. In, 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 in reality, it doesn't work like that. No, but that, but that. <laughs> but you should, but I you know should. Yeah, yeah. Not, but I'm just saying yeah. in reality. Because yeah. I've, I've. Because they're not. You, you can't expect every black person to think like that. It's that's no, impossible. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. uh-huh. you no, know what I'm but, saying? Yeah. Even the freedom fighters in the past, they fought for a better future for. Even black the coons, people. the black, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, They're yeah, still yeah. fighting for you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like, you got to do it out of love, basically. Uh, <laughs> and that's why, and that's why, going back to the point, what you were saying, it mm-hmm. was our freedom fighters that did that. Mm-hmm. That shows you it's not every black yeah. person. There we go. Yeah. There we like go. That. You it's put their lives few. on the line. We can, we can pay the ultimate price. Our, with both of our hands and people that fought like that. Do you know what I mean? It takes a certain individual to have that love and drive and passion that not everyone could be a freedom fighter. I'm sorry. No, of course not. Are you prepared to die? Are you prepared to live a certain way? From there, once you say that, 90% Ninety percent have cocked out. Ninety percent have cocked out. No, so it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? So oh, that, what you're bro. saying is true, but it will always be the minority bro, he, that will think like that. Human P said, "Bro, as a freedom fighter, yeah, what you need to know is you're doomed." Yeah. <laughs> that part like Fred, on, Fred Hampton, like bro, yeah. my Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. They all Rex. talked about like. Dying basically yeah. Yeah, in yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. no, especially Malcolm X. He's he the ultimate down, price. The amount of times he gets bringing up the ultimate price. He said that in interviews. He said that yeah. I'm a dead man already. He said, I always knew I was going to die in violence. I've done everything that I could to prepare myself for it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Ready, but it's just like, that's what uh, honorable black men you're supposed to be. Like, that's what yeah. you're you upholding should. those values. This is what it's about. Are you ready yeah. to? Frankly, we ain't got to do that. 
Yeah, because they, 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 do, 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 do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's bro, like this is you see what's happening out here, bro. Like we've been through a lot of this. It's just like, mm, mm. bro, they say knowledge is power. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah. And it's what you do with knowledge. You, what, do, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's what makes you. No, it's you know it's what why you grasp power. Listen. <laughs> A lot of people can gain the knowledge, but are you going to apply the knowledge? There's one thing, it, yeah. I can't, listening, getting the knowledge, a lot of people read books, but do you apply that? Mm -hmm. Just applying it, that's the next step. You know what I'm saying? So knowledge is power, but okay, applying the knowledge is what's going to make the... the yeah. 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 How, you know you, are you applying it to oppress your own people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you applying it to... Because... A lot of these African leaders, got they're very intelligent. Yes. <laughs> you got people trying to... Yeah, got they're people incredibly trying. intelligent, mm -hmm. but they're not... And incredibly <laughs> stupid at the same time. <laughs> incredibly greedy, no, I should say. He said, he said uh, a lot of African leaders are, yeah, are very yeah, intelligent. Yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. yeah. And, and <laughs> really greedy at the same yeah, time. That, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's, yeah. So it's to our detriment. All that power they have is to our detriment. You know? But so you, I think this is why you got to look at human nature. This is why I feel like racism is a real thing. But I didn't think my and that's another one of my arguments nowadays. I'm like human nature. You can corrupt people like from any race, man. Any race, the yeah, Middle yeah, East, yeah, yeah, yeah. Asia, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do you think there's, there wasn't corruption here? Do you think there's corruption? Whoa, yeah. it's widespread. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you but gotta. We we feel yeah, we yeah. feel like the worst brunt of it as 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 African African people. Like you said it's human nature the corruption, but that I believe that poverty has something to do with. Of course, it's in, well, yeah, easier what? to corrupt if you look at. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. For money, they're gonna do everything. The Chinese well, guys like, yo, we're gonna run you this thing here. Well, yeah. we're, we're, we're a country. Run yeah. me that money. If you, you, if you had it, it wouldn't. Move you. It wouldn't move you. No, you know. it's, this so is, we're the easiest to corrupt. Yeah. Because we're coming from that poverty. Poverty. Yeah, and we're in we we're in that because of what's happened previously. Yeah. Yes. By design, but our people that are participated, you know, in mm. our in our, you know, current current state collectively mm. uh, um, um as a people. So it's this day and age, what does it look like to be a black king and a black queen though? You know, in twenty twenty four. You know, twenty three is for over now. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, yeah, we're going into in twenty. Yeah, you know I'm saying we're coming to twenty three. You know, mm. the, the, what like this? It's these black queen and black king narratives getting thrown around loosely. I think a lot of people that are doing black king and black queen stuff are getting mm. overlooked. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, the, for for the most part because you're yeah. enticing. Yeah, it doesn't excite people. Unless you're, do you have to be an entertainer or to be to be considered a black king and black queen? You know, is that reducing black people? We, we to, to isn't that if anything, if we're saying our oh, leaders are, are great? Worship, sorry, entertainers more than any other ethnic group. <laughs> so it looks like. Do you understand that we worship our entertainers look, more than any other? Ethnic but look group. what our entertainers have given to the world, though. Nonsense. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> This is the modern day. They, they if you think about the jazz, <laughs> the jazz artist, man, the blues artist, man, oh, come you're on. About, you're taking it no, back in no, the day. I'm talking about, like, in general, yeah. you know, like, that was a, different a, lot, a lot yeah, of, yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of, like, black musicians, man, like, music was a way out in America, especially, man, yeah, the jazz, jazz and, jazz, you know, the white man was like, what's this? We've got to get this on the radio. Yeah, like hip hop, yeah. what? You know what I mean? How the fuck are you not making this? Like, but listen, really, in the midst of the suppression. Hip hop uh, was an escape. But listen, from the listen, listen. Was, but who, who ends up controlling it and using that against our. We're the original <laughs> people, so we're going to be the most creative. Uh, Anything uh, we do, absolutely. We, we have that naturally. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you understand? Absolutely. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's what we did with it at, at the time as a way of venting our pain and our struggle and mm. doing something with the little we have. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It don't make sense nowadays where you got so much influential and rich. Like hip hop figures, and they're still like artists are still getting exploited. You still you're still seeing artists crying on Twitter about uh, how shit they do, and they're, they're, they're angry at their label. When a rapper says, <laughs> when a rapper, you see a rapper talking about ah my label, I'll oh, fuck my label. <laughs> Be independent, simple. I don't want to hear that. Uh, yeah, exactly. These guys have been so they want to come to the world to make serious money. You man have got chains, cars, and everything. I don't want to hear you complaining. I'm exactly. sorry about my label. When you're living in a mansion, like, do you know how the average person is trying to get by? And you lot are crying about you know my label. Why? 
I, I don't feel no sympathy for you. I'm you sorry. You signed that 360 deal. And you signed that yeah, 360 deal because you wanted to get that Richard Milley. Uh, so I'm yeah, not, you I'm not, I'm not, I'm yeah, not you, to that. You man. wanted to do a Bubby Schmurder and dance on top of the table, table in, a, yeah, exactly. in front of white people. Acting <laughs> <white people. laughs> like a like top... Like you said, independent. Go independent. Rap <laughs> monkey. Yeah. What they did to Tory Lanez as well, too. Oh. No, he's done. He's done. This is the biggest miscarriage oh, of the... Yeah, Fuck off, man. He's done. They're coming out. But, but Listen, he should have taken it to trial, blood. He should have taken a plea. He would have got out in three years. Oh, okay. See, when you take things to trial, it, it yeah. costs more. We know about. It. You know what I'm saying? What, what, it, what it takes yeah. to. Like, Sometimes like, your money ain't gonna save you, bro. If you, if they if they if, they, if you're targeted and they want you in jail, exactly. the powers that be, mm. you're, you're, gonna, you're going in jail, bro. You know. The main, reason, mm. the main reason. Look, let's put this. And anyone you know who's watching and they could be like, no, nah, that's not true. That's not true. You need to watch it from a bigger. Picture. Macro it's level. It's not the Megan the Stallion situation that Tory went into prison for. It was not. He did not shoot Meg the Stallion in the foot. Because remember, she was dancing the couple days after. The reason yeah, I'll is, give us context. I don't really know yeah. the, the in so the after the let's yeah. upon the reason why Tory Lanez went to prison. Have you guys seen the video that when he said, Didn't you guys see I cracked the code? I cracked the fucking code. Uh, what was he talking about? Uh, the NFT, NFT, NFT. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh. Spurs, I think, gave him one dollar or something. Exactly. So, How much did he make? He made a lot a of money. Mill, like, a there money, you yeah. go. So that's equivalent to one per one person for one dollar. So how many fans this guy has? Millions. Mm. So if that one person bought one, they get something. Tory Lanez gets something. Mm. Mm. He cut off. So the, the white man said you're going to prison. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. When uh, you shot me into the Because he's, he's sharing that knowledge with the rest of the. Yeah, yeah, so you then go. they're going to realize, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't there want that. Go. Because they want a hand on what you're doing. Exactly. So. But, but why is she maintaining that he done it though? Huh? Like, bro, the, the, bro, I, I, just, I, that's a very. What you're saying, bro, is absolutely she, like a, a real thing. What, what is in it for her? That's a good one. Why do you feel. What is because remember, it's Jay Z. It's Rockefeller. So, whatever to protect. That artist image, Jay Z's gonna do that. So Jay Z's gonna, hey, get Tory Lanez out there because yeah. one, he messing up what's going on with Megan. The narrative, yeah, the yeah, narrative, yeah. and he's messing up the narrative. What he's doing as well too with this record label, he we not getting our hands on that money. Yeah, when he's yeah, making, yeah. He's, you he's making you like significant. Yeah. Well, we're gonna yeah. let the music industry haven't taken out. Michael Jackson, Sony, and and print like Prince. let this start, like you know what I'm saying. Like they don't take up. You know, so if they do that, like that's you know, that's not far fetched. That's not far fetched. Okay. You, you so know what I mean? It was not no he shot. Okay, there's many people, and like I said, I'm not talking that oh, shooting someone or killing someone. Yeah, it's fine. No, oh, my no. guy, I'm not saying that. Look, there were no you facts. It wasn't, someone, if you look at the case, there was yeah. no evidence. There was no factual Thank you. evidence that he, Thank you. he was a trigger man. And many know, people you know. mm, done yeah, yeah. something severe than that. The shot and graze of foot. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 rap, and rap someone, about it. Yeah, and many people stab someone mm. and rap about in it. prison. Two, three, four years and come back. Oh, this guy's um, arm yeah. getting life for this. Manslaughter. Yeah, you get manslaughter for stabbing really? in certain really? circumstances. Yeah. And some people. The sentence who, is mad. The sentence was very. Like, you know what I mean? It, it was crazy. It's and an people, inside job in it. Like this is why. Exactly. I, I, this is why I've always kind of like when you when you try and tell people this. Like, now nah, people want to believe it. You know what I'm saying? Even like mm. uh, Benjamin Mendy. From the, he used to play for Man, Man City, oh, black guy. And, and, uh, all these, but I was, was saying, acquitted. It was fine. I, I, but I was telling, I was telling people, how do you know he done it? A lot of people, like, he done it. He done it. How do you know? How do you know? Do you think? Do you think I, I want to defend anyone that's done something like that? If they've actually done it. So what about when you get off it? Well, yeah, and bro, people right, still right. want to believe it. I'm like, bro, what's wrong? What's wrong with humans? What's wrong with? They believe Hitler. Propaganda. That's, no. that's the quickest way you know, to get people to believe something. There you I go. Think, feed, think, if you, yeah. What the hit is, if you feed people a lie long enough, they'll start to believe they it believe as true. It. Oh, I think it. it's also just... And, about, Andrew Tate talks about that. I think it was... Because Tate, but you still got to watch out for <laughs> some, some of the stuff. But, but yeah, I get what you're the saying. The other thing in place, mm. it, was, it was a lot of women that were saying it. So I think when you hear that, From you, multiple can't, women. you can't think, oh, they're oh, all lying. Yeah. But if... A lot of them do though. Like, I know, That's I know, the yeah, thing. Because I know, I know solicitors, right? And they say that if a man is falsely accused of rape, he's more likely to get a fair um, judgment if the um, jury is all women mm. than if it's all men. Because mm. men are so, they assume women are innocent. Yeah. And there's, cool. yeah, they've, yeah. Been, they've been That's scared different. now. Actually, everyone does though. They've been scared mm. now to say that the woman is lying. Because <laughs> that's, mm. that's how bad it's going. Bro, and women, women know what women are capable of, and they will say mm. it as it is. No, 
But you know, guys, hundred percent. And I like what you just said, and it's so true. You remember when we talked about that gentleman from Man United, right? Yeah. That case with Dutchavelli as well. It, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really want to, guys. Did you guys really? Yeah. Doesn't mean you didn't do it. <laughs> but the thing is, no, a lot of people come out. You know, Monster Marv. A couple of his people them have said that's for gays. Either the te- the messages are fabricated. Or that. Do you understand? But we just frown on that so much that it's like people don't want to give. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, no, man. I don't know Dutch Avelli. How do you guys out from the outside know that this gentleman did that? Listen, he was he, but he was talking inappropriately. From what I've saw, I don't give a fuck if he. The yeah, police yeah, are yeah, saying nice. there isn't no insufficient evidence, but yeah. we don't mind that body, man. And there isn't no in the bus case, blood. Yeah. You get me? <laughs> so, what I saw, you know what I'm saying? Text, yeah, bro, text. listen, yeah, yeah. brother. Of course, these people are going to try and cover it up and defend him. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, 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 like, you shouldn't be talking like that to a 40 He's paying the bills. <laughs> but he's a but fucking year for real, because like I said, I don't know this story like that. Well, it was an underage yeah, girl. You know what I'm saying? He he was inappropriately inappropriately like yeah man talking to her like for, he was talking about the toes like you, yeah, bro you're yeah. flirting with an underage girl lad yeah. like let's go on like bear, like bro the, the hood this shit is 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 it is common bro like, like thing, anyway bro. like let's not let's not run away like do you get it bro I heard I've heard stories of um, like guys when they were in secondary school like early secondary school. Um, some girls' boyfriends used to come and pick them up in their cars and stuff. Yeah, bro, so of course. Yeah. Bro, this is all... a girl in year, what, 10? And then there'll be a youth that's like 21 picking up a girl in year 10. And, and the like, hypo- like, hypocrisy it, 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 in our community yeah, as well, in the black crazy. community. It's crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and the double standards. Some girls are normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It all depends on who you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is what flying the wall is all about. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, no um, love for everybody for tuning in. Come on, you know what I'm saying. Love for the patting up TV it's man. Them, one, no. come on, come on, come on. TVs. Yeah. Yes. Saying Daniel. Come on. We got the. Daya accent. Daya accent. Daya accent. You get me. So yeah, let us know what you think on things that we've touched on. Mm. Let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and share. Fly in the wall is a total unique narrative here we're pushing. So just support it. Watch Q in a month. <laughs> Give us recommendations. You get me? Yeah, yeah. Anyone that might have gone over our heads. So love. It's a boy B Yax. You done know. Shout out to everybody. We're out. Done know. Jeez. Jeez. That was big man there. Come on.